Hello! In today's um, video, we're going to be talking about, wait for it, I thought I spelled it wrong. Sketch noting. So sketch noting is, um, just to define it, is taking notes in the form of images and um, you know t a blend of images and text that help you remember the content of a lecture or a class in a way that as you're flipping through your notebook, those things will jump out at you so you remember the content and of the class. And um, as interaction designers, we uh, typically draw a lot and do a lot of sketching, so this is a great way to practice that skill. So let me just talk about some of the tools. Uh, you need to find a pen that you like, and I, I have been through many pens trying to find favorites. This is my most recent, and it came from Pygmalion's. Um, but you can see I have a lot of other pens here. Sometimes I use color in these um, Jelly Roll pens. I know they're you know from 15 years ago, but they're great pens, and they um, have really thick color. Um, but the two, the three most important pens that I use is my favorite pen, and then I use shading pens. And these came in your kit for class, but they're really good to just kind of quickly give some emphasis so that, um, you know, it's not just a page of black sketches. Um, so that kind of just helps bring some, uh, some focus to um, some headings and some important things that you're taking notes on. So... Just to give you an example of some, some of the sketch notes that I've done, this was the most recent class. Um, we were talking about the reflective practitioner. So if I were to quickly, you know, months from now, look through my notebook and see this image, I would know exactly that this, we were talking about the reflective practitioner. Um, it's actually a pretty good, pretty good sketch, I can say. Um, but here's some other ones that I've done um, in, in classes, and this one was from the first IDP class. But... Uh, something that I, one thing that I do, um, I'm going to have you zoom in on this. This is just a, a kind of a, an icon that I've created for every time there's a video that plays in class. So every, you know, if I'm flipping through, I can say, oh yeah, that was the, the time that we watched the Grey's Anatomy video. And that will trigger something, um, a memory for me in understanding why that was important for that class. So you can kind of create your own set of icons, but you know, that's maybe a skill that's hard to start at first. So the easiest thing to do um, when you first start <laughs> is to really just keep your pen moving and, and, you know, not judge how it looks. Just start putting things on paper. And an easy way to really get started is to take some headings and, um, you know, you, you've, you've, you just heard something in class that was a heading of what you're going to be talking about for the next couple of minutes. And you just make a heading and just start drawing around it, waiting for um, something next to draw. So you're listening and waiting for kind of a big picture. And I just keep sketching. I just keep doodling on it. You know, maybe now I'm, I've heard something that it's something I want to remember. I put it in a bubble. Or, you know, we were talking about today about how to think like designers. So, um, you know, thinking like a designer is it, what that means. Um, so again, just some tips for how to get better at this. Uh, just just relax, just do it. Um, you know, choose recognition over over realism. So I'm not you know I'm not going to go in here and try to draw a person holding something that's supposed to signify something. Maybe I'll you know draw a person and he's holding an apple. So you know he's not necessarily holding it, but the person in the apple. Um, I'll remember what that means, and it's not very detailed. It's, it's uh, you know, I can recognize that fairly easily. Um, and you do need to strike a balance between speed and legibility. So uh, if you're trying to draw everything and you're not putting any text in, that's not really going to help you either. So maybe it's, um, you know, with this, I'd talk about this and put just a heading or a quote or a, the big idea underneath it. Um, so you do need, the text is important as well, not just everything in imagery. Um, but... Again, since it does take a while to develop this skill, I would suggest that you, you know, you draw and you don't judge yourself. Don't think about how it looks on the page. Don't try to be, you know, oh, I have to go down here. If, if you don't have any space down here, start drawing up here. And one of the things I really like to do is use dotted lines um, I, as kind of a map for where I've been, where the, where the lecture is going. So I'll have a whole page filled and it doesn't necessarily... Um, flow in, in terms of ideas in the class, but um, 
but I can go back and look at kind of the roadmap and I, I tend to highlight or I just had, tend to shade the roadmap so I know where, where I'm going. Um, but that's that and did I show some of the other ones? Did I do this? Yep. Okay. So um, that's that and if you have any questions you can always come talk to me and that we'll post some resources as well on this topic and um, throughout the semester I'll be posting my sketch notes of the class. So thanks for listening.